Find the solution set of the following linear inequations graphically. Let us begin. Now starting with the first inequation, we have x plus y greater than or equals to 1. Now what we'll do? We'll convert this into a linear equation. Now that means all we have to do is replace the inequality symbol greater than or equals to with an equality symbol. Now, now this gives us a linear equation in two variables x and y. We can easily plot the graph of x plus y equals to 1 on an xy plane. Moving on to the next linear inequation, we have 7x plus 9y less than or equals to 63. We can also convert it into an equation. We can, uh, can uh, convert it by replacing the inequality symbol less than or equals to with an equality symbol to get 7x plus 9y equals to 63. So this is going to be a linear equation in two variables x and y. We can also plot this on the same xy plane. Then we have x equals to 6, we have y equals to 5, we have x equals to 0 and y equals to 0. Now, for x equals to 6 and y x equals to 0, these have, both of them have the form x equals to a. And we know that any line whose equation is given by x equals to a is a, going to be a line that is parallel to the y axis. It's going to be parallel to the y-axis and A is going to give us the intercept. That means for the line x equals to C, its x-intercept is going to be 6 units and for x equals to 0, its x-intercept is going to be 0. In other words, we are saying that x equals to 0 is simply the y-axis. Similarly, for y equals to 5 and y equals to 0, so here we have y equals to B. So this is going to be a line that is parallel to the x-axis x axis and its y intercept is going to be given by b so that means for the line y equals to 5 its y intercept is going to be 5 and for y equals to 0 its y intercept is going to be 0 and in other words this is simply the x axis we're going to use a graphing calculator to graph the graph of the straight line x plus y equals to 1 7 plus 7 x plus 9 y equals to 63 and the uh, remaining 4 x equals to 6 y equals to 5 x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 so here we have plotted each of the lines. So the green line represents x plus y equals to 1. The indigo color represents the line 7x plus 9y equals to 63. Then the black colored line that's x equals to 6. And we also have the line that passes through the y-axis that's going to be represented by x equals to 0. Then we have the blue colored line which is y equals to 5 and the green colored line which passes through the x-axis is going to represent the line y equals to 0. Okay, now let's try to understand the solution for each of the given linear inequality. We'll start with x plus y equals to 1. Now here, x plus y equals to 1, this particular line divides the xy plane into two regions. One, it's going to be above the, re the line and the other region is going to be below the line. Now what we'll do, we're going to consider a point on the xy plane. So we're going to choose the origin with the coordinates 0 comma 0. Let's check if it satisfies the inequality or not. So at the origin 0 comma 0 where our x value corresponds to 0 and our y value corresponds to 0, the inequality x plus y greater than or equals to 1. So this becomes 0 plus 0 greater than or equals to 1 which gives us 0 greater than or equals to 1. And we know that's an incorrect statement. So that means if it is an incorrect statement, then the region that contains the origin is not going to be a solution to x plus y greater than or equals to 1. We have to take the region that is a lying above the line x plus y equals to 1. Next, we have 7x plus 9y less than or equals to 63. So here also we'll be choosing the same origin point 0 comma 0. So we get 7 times 0 plus 9 times 0 less than or equals to 63 and that gives us 0 less than 63. However, this is a true statement. This being a true statement means that the region which contains 0 comma 0 and that lies below the indigo line is going to satisfy the inequality. So that means we have to consider below the indigo line. We have to reject the region above the indigo line. Fine. Coming to the third one, we have x less than or equals to 6. First, we consider x equals to 6. It's dividing the xy plane into two regions. One is to the left of x equals to 6 and other lies to the right of x equals to 6. Now, since it says x is going to be less than 6, we're going to consider the region that lies to the left of x equals to 6.
then we have y less than equals to 5 y less than equals to 5 means we're going to consider the region that lies below the line y equals to 5 okay then we have x greater than or equals to 0 now these two condition x greater than or equals to 0 y greater than or equals to 0 simply means that we are considering the first quadrant fine so now we need to find out the region that is common to all the inequalities so the reason that is common to all the inequalities will be that this particular region which is marked with red color this region is going to be the solution set so here we can point this point name this point as a this point is going to be b this particular point is going to be c we have the point d point e and the point f so a b c d e f so this particular region is going to be a solution set so here any point that we pick up from this region is going to satisfy all of the inequalities